So, Bismillah ar rahim we continue now with the, this kinematics of these particles which are moving in, uh, as you can see here, uh, the particles are moving up and down, we call them transverse waves. You can see the, the wave is moving at constant speed as we have seen it. There was an equation V square square root of t tension over mu, uh, that's the wave speed. Uh, also, we talked about the transverse speed or transverse velocity of the part. This, this is the velocity of the particles which are moving up and down. Uh, we have seen that the, this is the equation of the transverse velocity. You can write here u of x and t if you want. Okay? All right? x is a variable and t is a variable. It's important to know that this is a sine and this is a cosine. And there's a phase shift of pi over 2 between sine and cosine. When y, one is maximum, the other one is 0 and so on. So when y is, is, is 0, because so the sine is zero, the cosine will be maximum, and this is why u will be maximum at equilibrium position. Because at equilibrium position, y will be zero, so the velocity, the, tra the transverse uh, velocity will be, will be maximum because of the sine and the cosine. Very important to understand this point. Uh, similarly, when you go to the maximum displacement, when this is maximum, the velocity will be zero because of the phase shift between sine and cosine. So the velocity will be zero here when the displacement is maximum. Now we go to the acceleration of the particle. Since we have a velocity of the particles, and velocity is changing, as we can see, it goes from a maximum value to zero. So it is changing, so we have acceleration. There's an acceleration there here. And we don't have two accelerations. Uh, the, since the, the wave is moving at constant speed, its acceleration will be zero. Okay, but we have acceleration for the particles which are moving up and down. And to find the acceleration of the particles, A, uh, uh, we have to write du over dt. That's the first derivative of the, of the velocities, of the transverse velocity. So we take this equation here, I'm going to differentiate this with respect to time to get the acceleration of the particle as a function of what? Of x, A, x, and t. A, X, and T, okay? So, what is uh, the, the uh, so we have the minus sign here, and we have a cosine, and there's a minus sign here. So, uh, differentiation of this will bring out minus omega. With the minus omega, it will be plus omega squared, and the differentiation of the cosine will be minus sign. So, there will be a minus sign, omega squared, YM, sine of KX minus omega t plus phi. I just want to remind you that the minus sign here, it means the wave is moving to the right. If you see a plus sign in one of the problems that you will encounter when solving, if you see a plus sign, it means the wave is moving to the left. So in our case here, in our example, the wave is moving to the right. You can see it moving to the right. And here in this, the sign here will be a minus sign here. Eh? So this is, uh, of course, you see the sign here. One thing is important, I'm going to show it here. This here is actually something that you have seen before. Ym sine kx minus omega t plus phi is actually y. So here, you can write this as minus omega squared y of x and t. Okay? Y of x and t. It's a multiplication, okay? Okay? So the acceleration, very important equation here. A of x and t is equal to omega square y and x of x and t. Okay? And, uh, 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 of course, uh, if we go back to this equation here, omega squared times ym is the uh, maximum uh, acceleration, huh? a max. So you can also write a of x and t equal minus a max sine omega kx minus omega t plus phi. Okay? So, this omega squared times ym is a max. Like here, omega times ym was u max. Here it is a max, and there's a minus sign here. Eh? The minus sign is coming from uh, the differ differentiation. Uh, so, uh, the acceleration is minus omega squared. Remember that omega is a constant. Eh? So, omega squared times ym. What, is, what does this uh, y, y of x and t? What does it mean? It means when y is, is zero, the acceleration is zero, and when y is maximum, the acceleration will be maximum. So where do you expect the acceleration to be maximum, and where do you expect the acceleration to be zero? Of course, according to this equation, when, when 
y of x and t is equal to zero. So you are at the origin. You are the particle is at this point here. Huh? When the particle reaches this point, its acceleration when y of x and t will be zero. Here the acceleration will be will be also zero. Okay. So it will be zero at the origin when y of x and t is maximum is y m maximum plus or minus y m okay here the acceleration will be a will be a, a of x and t will be will be equal to a max okay a max now in magnitude i'm talking about the magnitude here eh? Of course, acceleration has a, has a sign. It's a vector. Is a is a vector. Yeah, like 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 the velocity here was a vector. It can be positive when the object is moving up. When the particle is moving up, it can be negative when the particle is moving down. Here, the acceleration can be also positive and negative. Okay, depending on on uh, on this equation here. You see here, when y is positive, the acceleration is negative. When y is negative, the acceleration is positive. Okay. So let's uh, illustrate this uh, uh, here quickly. So, this is the origin, okay? This is the y-axis, and this is the, the ym, okay? This is ym, and this is here, minus ym. So, when the particle is moving up, we know that it is decelerating. So, the velocity in this part here, when it is moving up, the particle is moving up, remember, uh, the velocity is up, and it is decreasing, so the acceleration is what? Is down. So this is V, and the acceleration is down, A. And this V is decreasing because here V is zero, huh? remember. Acceleration is down. You see, here in this part, the acceleration is negative. You can see it when Y is positive, because the minus sign, the acceleration will be negative, okay? Now let's go down here. Oh, ah, when, the, when the particle is moving down now, if the particle is moving down, its V is in this direction, and it is increasing, so the acceleration is also in this direction. You can see the acceleration is always downward in this part, and because of the minus sign here, the acceleration will be negative. In both, in both cases, whether the particle is moving up or moving down, the acceleration is always downward, and it is negative. You can see it also from here. So, in both cases, let's go down here now. Okay? Let's go down. Now, the particle, let's say the particle is moving down, okay? When the particle is moving down, uh, it is decelerating, so the acceleration is up, right? Because I, I know the velocity here will be zero, and the velocity here is maximum. So the particle is, move, is moving down, but V is decreasing, so A is opposite to V, deceleration. So A is positive. How about if the particle is moving up now? If it is moving up, I know the, the velocity is increasing, so the acceleration will be in the same direction, so the acceleration is, is also up. And the acceleration is positive. You can see it here. When, when y is negative, the acceleration will be positive. So here, in this part, from 0 to ym, the acceleration is always, is always downward in negative. From 0 to minus ym, the acceleration is always upward. It is positive. You can see it also from here, from this equation. When y is positive here, a will be negative because of minus sign. When y is negative here, a will be positive because negative with a negative will, go, will give you a positive acceleration. I hope this is, this is important and I hope this is clear. The acceleration is a vector. It has a direction and it is negative in this part. It is positive in this part, okay? And we, we should know that when the object is accelerating, the acceleration and the velocity are in the same direction. When the, when the object is decelerating, the acceleration and velocity are in opposite, in opposite direction. Thank you very much.